In today's exploration, we're immersing ourselves in the rich tapestry of Herman Melville's Moby Dick, a seminal work in American literature. Penned in 1851, this monumental novel not only showcases a harrowing journey into the vast oceans, but also serves as a mirror to the depths of human emotion and psyche. The narrative of Moby Dick revolves around the tumultuous journey of the Pequod, a whaling ship captained by the driven and somewhat tormented Captain Ahab. Our primary guide through this dense narrative is Ishmael, a contemplative sailor aboard the ship. Our tale starts in the port town of New Bedford, Massachusetts. Ishmael, formerly a schoolteacher and now seeking the thrill of the sea, meets the intriguing Queequeg, a Polynesian harpooner adorned with tattoos. Their initial encounter, which could have been fraught with mistrust given their disparate backgrounds, evolves into a deep and endearing friendship. Both decide to embark on a whaling voyage and find themselves aboard the Pequod. As the Pequod sets sail, there's an air of mystery. It begins as any other whaling voyage, with the crew engaging in their routine, oblivious to Captain Hav's ulterior motives. It becomes hauntingly clear, as the narrative progresses, that Ahab is gripped by an insatiable obsession. His singular aim is to hunt and kill Moby Dick, the formidable white sperm whale that cost him his leg in a prior encounter. This vendetta becomes the undercurrent of the entire voyage, driving Ahab to the brink of madness. The ship's crew, a diverse ensemble from various parts of the world, react differently to Ahab's manic pursuit. Starbuck, the chief mate and the moral compass of the ship, often finds himself torn. He struggles internally, juggling his allegiance to Ahab and the impending doom he foresees. On the other hand, Stubb and Flask, the other mates, seem more indifferent to Ahab's passion, attending to their duties without significant dissent. Throughout their journey, the Pequod crosses paths with several other ships, these encounters often serve dual purposes, offering a breather from the ship's intense internal dynamics and providing ominous foreshadowings. Among the more poignant interactions is with the ship Rachel, which had suffered its own tragedies at the fins of Moby Dick, but no tale of woe can deter Ahab. Ishmael, ever the keen observer, often diverges from the central narrative to provide readers with exhaustive accounts of whale anatomy, the nuances of the whaling industry, and philosophical musings on the practice. These informative sections serve not only to educate but also paint a vivid picture of the 19th century whaling world, touching upon diverse themes such as morality, the essence of existence, and the interconnectedness of life. The climax of Moby Dick is as intense as it is tragic. Over three relentless days, the crew of the Pequod, led by the frenzy to have, chase Moby Dick. The culmination of Ahab's obsession, his confrontation with the white whale, is catastrophic. The mighty Pequod meets a somber fate, with the elusive whale proving too powerful an adversary. The tale concludes with Ishmael, the lone survivor saved by Queequeg's carved coffin, floating amidst the vast emptiness of the ocean. Moby Dick is an intricate exploration of human desires and the blinding nature of session. Ahab's relentless pursuit of Moby Dick stands as a cautionary tale about the dangers of letting vengeance consume one's soul. The novel also delves deep into themes of identity, camaraderie, and the human spirit. Ishmael and Queequeg's bond emphasizes the idea that true friendships can eclipse societal boundaries and prejudices. Melville's detailed accounts of whaling are more than just educational. They're profound reflections on humanity's relationship with nature, asking pressing questions about dominance, reverence, and the consequences of unrestrained ambition. Furthermore, the character of Moby Dick itself is a masterstroke in symbolic literature. The white whale is not just an animal, it becomes a canvas upon which various characters project their fears, hopes, and interpretations. To Ahab, it's the embodiment of all his torment, while for others, it symbolizes the vast, unpredictable nature of the universe. To encapsulate, Moby Dick remains a timeless work, a testament to Melville's genius. Through its layered narrative and rich symbolism, it presents a panorama of human emotions and existential questions that continue to resonate. For those with a penchant for literature that challenges and enriches, this novel is truly unparalleled. If you appreciate these deep dives into literary treasures, kindly consider subscribing to our channel for more meticulous analyses and summaries. Your continued support is invaluable to us, and we remain committed to enlightening literary discussions. Until our next journey into the world of books.